Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy Invictive back out again with another Dog Calm Battle video. Today we're going to go ahead and check out this amazing new event that's just come over on the global side of the game. This is a precursor. You know LR Kale and Khalifla are coming to the game, you know, especially if this event is here and you can collect the medals to awaken that LR within this actual event. But this event is really amazing because not only are the medals available for the LR Kale and Khalifa, but there's a whole bunch of characters which are really amazing. You can make a full universe 6 team throughout the characters in this actual event. You can actually make quite a good decent team. And just in case you have some of the characters that have the exact same name as the characters in this uh, event, you can use the characters you collect from this event, the free to play characters, and you can use them to raise the super attack of other characters. So, if you was lucky enough to pull the new tech hit, or the tech hit that hasn't come back for a holy year on global, well, he's back now, if you manage to pull him, you can actually raise his super attack by collecting the hit available in this event. In this uh, guide here, I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, collect many copies of the same character, how you can make the grind super easy for you, and why it's a must have to have a lot of these units. So let's go ahead and check out the event. So the event, Assemble Warriors of Universe 6. There's four stages, each stage has a character which you can collect, which is amazing. There's a whole bunch of extra missions and rewards you can do, and all the characters are really amazing. So you can get SSR Vardos, she, the only per character in this actual event that has an awakening is a Vados. And she's a really, really good support unit. I managed to call her, I've got her SA10 and fully duped out. So, if you're new to the game and you're new to this event, SA10 is Super Attack 10. You uh, essentially have 10 copies of the same character and you train the same character into one main character. You train them all in and you'll give them a super attack value of 10. And then every character in the game has a hidden potential system. You need 4 additional characters to open up all the nodes of the hidden potential system. You can only open up the nodes of a hidden potential system of a character that's in his UR state. After a character awakens, they are in their TUR state, otherwise known as the Transcended UR. So TUR stands for Transcended UR. URs are characters that are fully, uh, uh, fully leveled up and awoken, but not not kind of awakened, right? So, there's four amazing characters here. We got Vados, which is a, a semi, a, a leader for Universe 6, free to play leader, a very good one. We got Champa, who has a massive attack increase at a small chance, but uh, he's, he's decent as well. We've got Physical Hit, a really good free to play option. He changes key spheres, he has a medium chance of evading super attacks, regular attacks has a decent attack increase and is a decent stunner but the real prize card throughout this entire event itself is the universe 6 Namekians Sauna and Pirina they're both here really good units especially since we'll be getting the Dokkan Fest for Piccolo after this event or, or after this celebration is all over so once January comes around very strong prediction Piccolo will be coming to the global side of the game. That's 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 not even an if or a but I know he's coming. And um, this Sauna and Piranha, they work amazing on that Namekians team and you will need them. So all of them are here and you can also fully awaken the Vados that's available in this event. She has a high chance of evading attacks including super attacks and she gives all of her universe 6 uh, category allies a nice good buff she gives them two key and 30 percent to attack and defense which is really really good now for this actual event you're going to need universe six characters don't worry if you don't have them because you can actually get some from this actual event itself but if you do have universe six characters go ahead and use them on this event to have a higher chance of collecting more of the characters from this event i'm going to go ahead and jump into one of the missions on this event so I want more copies of Sawanel and Pirina, and uh, they're available in Stage 2. Stage 1 you can get Hit, Stage 2 you can get Sawanel and Pirina, Stage 3 you can get Champa, and Stage 4 you can get Vados. 
The difference between normal and Zed Hard is on Zed Hard you have a higher chance of actually getting a reward or a drop. So, well, you always want to do events on Zed Hard. So I'm going to go ahead and do Stage 2 on Zed Hard. There are also missions, I've already completed them, but very easy missions. Get your Vados to super attack level 10 and then also um, I think is clear all the stages that are available and awaken the Vados. If you do all of the stages and if you awaken the Vados fully and you have a super attack 10, there's all your rewards. You'll get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You'll get 5 dragon stones, you'll get some Hercule statues, and you'll get 8 more dragon stones. So you have a total of 13 dragon stones throughout this actual event, which you can go ahead and grab. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, you want to use a team of characters that are Universe 6. After you've completed an event on Zed Hard, you can activate the boost feature. The boost feature is amazing because it gives you double the rewards at double the stamina cost. So, double the rewards at double the stamina cost. Great. We're going to go ahead and pick the effect of Universe 6. The more Universe 6 characters that you have that are fully awakened, the higher your percentage goes. So, let's go ahead and pick this here. And now, actually, I can make the percentage even higher than what it is here. Okay, so at the moment we're at 140%, but I can take this kale off and I can put this cabe on. By the way, you can farm this cabe right now, it's an amazing free to play unit, has a high chance to crit, 8% uh, attack increase. All of his event is available right now, so if you don't have this guy, go ahead and grab him. Really, really good free to play unit. So go ahead and grab this guy. He gives quite a good buff increase because he Dokkan Awakens twice. Uh, characters that Dokkan Awaken more than once, uh, <laughs> there aren't a few because only characters uh, that Dokkan Awaken twice are either LRs or characters that have a low increase. So he awakens into a UR, then he changes, then he awakens again into this form. So we can go ahead and grab him. Confirm. And then we check the effect before it was 140, now it's 175%. So this is the team here that has the highest percentage at the moment. When LR, Kale and Khalifa come out, go ahead and put those on. You'll have a nice 200%, 230-ish percent chance of getting a guaranteed extra reward. So let's go ahead and jump to the event. Make sure all your characters are Universe 6 Academy. We're going to start the event now. So uh, on the actual stage, there's no bonus items to collect or anything, so it's just pretty much go straight to the boss, beat the boss, and collect your rewards. The bosses are really quite easy to beat, the only one that's hard to beat is Kale, but after you beat Kale, it's not really an issue. So Kefla is amazing, all the Universe 6 characters are really good here. So. And the free to play units are really amazing as well. Ta da! Yeah, Kefla is amazing. I can't wait for a new Kefla to come to the game. Maybe a transforming one or something. Because uh, she, she, this Kefla, really, really good. I do not recommend you summon on the Cat Banner. Relax. I'm pretty sure that this Kefla and a whole bunch of the, category, uh, the characters that are available in the category banner will be available on the LR banner that will be coming next week or the week after. So there we go, we've got two characters. We've got training over here. Now, thanks to the boost feature, we'll get double the rewards. Another mission completed. And there you go, we got double the rewards. So we got two characters, and then the boost feature gave us an additional three more characters. So that's the quickest way for you to go ahead and farm up these characters. Five characters I just got there, super easy, super good. Go ahead and collect these amazing new units. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and train up my Sauno and Purina. I have one which is fully awoken. Do I have hidden potential? No. Yeah, we still need to fill up the hidden potential. So I'm gonna go ahead and put three in. So that will bring my super attack level to four. the hidden potential system to go ahead and activate the nodes of the hidden potential system. You don't have to fill out the system, it's best just for every character that you collect in the game to activate all of their nodes. Once all of their nodes are active and their super attack level is 10, you can go ahead and fully fill out the hidden potential system if you like your desired unit. So, that's pretty much all of that done. I'm getting a bunch of gifts here. Ah, oh, okay, some Christmas presents. There's a bunch of presents available for you guys just if you log in right now. <laughs> so, okay, and then if we go to Star and Awaken, so character list. So, the Vados, I've managed to get mine Super Attack 10 and Awoken her. I'm going to go ahead and lock her up because she's a really good unit. She is a very good semi free to play leader for universe 6 category she gives 2 key she gives 2 key HP attack and defense of 66% really good free to play leader I'm gonna go ahead and rainbow her higher chance of evading an enemy's attack including super attack universe category allies key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 30% a really great free to play unit so go ahead and grab these amazing new characters there's pretty much a lot of free to play units and also I like to organize all my free to play stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and organize some of these guys right now let's organize Sauna and Purina we lock these guys up go ahead and organize them put them into my free to play tag you can make custom tags just in case you want to put certain characters to the side And yeah, basically, you're gonna need 10 medals to awaken the Vados. The Vados is available on stage 4. 10 medals is needed to awaken her into her fully awakened form. And you can go ahead and click this cabbe in the Universe 6 event available right now. So if you wanna do that event, first events. So we have this brand new one and we have the older universe 6 one here so this is where you can get your free to play cabbe so if you want to really fill out your universe 16 go ahead and do these links anyways guys thank you very much for watching today's doll Khan battle video hopefully you found this quite informational and for all you new players out there on doll Khan battle welcome to doll Khan battle if you guys are enjoying the content go ahead and leave me a like if you're new to the channel or if you just found me go ahead and subscribe the red subscribe button go ahead and click it next to it is a bell notification that will let you know whenever i make my next do combat video anyways guys thank you very much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next do combat video peace out